In this video, we are going to talk about structural balance. So you might have heard this concept before. I'm going to just give you a quick idea about where it came from, what it means, and why it might be an important thing to consider in your training plan. So structural balance, as far as I can tell, was uh, first sort of a term coined by the late strength coach Charles Poliquin. And basically what it relates to is different ratios of strength between different muscle groups and the idea that there's sort of an optimal balance point there where if we can achieve it, our body works best in this sort of synergy of awesomeness. So in other words, let's just say our chest is really strong and our back is not that strong. Well, that's going to pull our shoulder out of position. It's going to cause shoulder instability. And even on chest exercises, it's not going to allow the best expression of our strength and potential. And this happens all throughout the entire body. You can Google Charles Poliquin structural balance and find all kinds of articles that he had written on this and different ratios that he had kind of come up with. And I'll put a link to some of that stuff below. Um, but I think a more effective way of looking at this for the average person is that those structural balance ratios just give us a rough idea. They're not written in stone and for different situations and different people, um, we don't necessarily have to always guide our training to based on the uh, goal of reaching these specific ratios. But what you want to do is take them and notice that if you are way off and way out of whack on, on certain ones, then that might mean you need to change your training program, bias the weaknesses, lower the amount of effort and training that you're doing on the stuff that's already too strong compared to that ratio, and balance things out and understand that the body works in one piece, is one system, and it needs to operate effectively um, by having everything kind of clicked in at a certain level. Um, other coaches like James Fitzgerald, um, who runs OPEX Fitness in Arizona, um, has kind of clicked in on this and actually was able to interview him recently. And he sort of has used this um, idea of structural balance in his training approach um, much the same way that I do, as more taking it as that general guideline. It's something that you want to investigate and be aware of, but there's also some flexibility within that. But either way, um, it's something that is very effective to know about. And again, if you have a main weakness, you want to spend some time fixing it. Um, it really can direct the flow of your training and the focus of your training uh, in a way that is very impactful and leads to a just good overall result in the end. So as I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link below um, to an article that kind of explains some of these ratios to give you an actual idea of some specific numbers that you can kind of look at. But just remember, it doesn't have to be exact. You just probably should be pretty close on these things though um, for general fitness and longevity purposes.